Hi, and welcome to my guide. Today, we are going to be completing the quest at first light. The quest requirements are Children of the Sun and Eagle Speak. Skill requirements are 27 Construction, 46 Hunter and 30 Herbal. I just need it. A hammer, a needle and a handful of box traps. For the recommended items, since this is a skilling quest and you don't need to fight anything during this quest, maybe some weight reducing clothing and one stamina potion might be helpful. As well as between 3 and 4 empty inventory slots. For the teleports, I'm gonna be bringing along two teleports to any fairing, and then I'm gonna teleport to the fairing A, J, P. That is gonna save me like 30 seconds each, and then also two teleports to the Hunter's Guild. The fastest way to get to the Hunter's Guild is by teleporting to Fortis and then taking the Quetzal. But this does require the quest completion of Twilight's Promise. If you have yet to complete that quest, you could always use the fairing code AJP and run west, or just simply run from the city. So, here in the Hunter's Guild in Central Varlamore, here let's talk to Guildmaster Apatura and select option 2 and then 1. Is there anything I can help with? And let's start the quest. Next, let's go north and climb downstairs down into the dungeon sign. Next, let's go north to the counter and the eastern NPC. Let's talk to the scribe. After this conversation is over, we will need to talk to the western NPC called Guild Hunter Wolf. So get ready to talk to that NPC and keep pressing space. After talking to this NPC, we will need to go to the cat just southwest. Underneath it, there will be a cat bed. When you're able to check it, go there and wind up your toy mouse. Next, use it on the Guild Hunter Kiko. Click to continue and then check the cat bed. Next, return to Wolf and continue the conversation. After speaking to him, we're gonna be making our way to the fairing code AJP. You could also exit the Hunter Guild and run east, southeast. But I think using the fairing is slightly faster. From the fairing, just go southwest. Just go southwest until you see a mining sign. South of the crevice, there should find Guild Hunter Fox. Let's talk to him, and he will have a massive cut in his stomach while being ambushed or attacked. Next, after speaking to him, go a bit west and there should find a brown bush. Pick leafy bush. to grab a herb. Next, continue east and keep going east until you see a oasis. Keep running east until you hit some water. Once we've reached that water, we're gonna be laying a couple of box traps. This depends on your hunter level. Here are a couple of ember-tailed jamberl... Jerbao. Just lay a couple of box traps. We're gonna be needing to catch at least two of these. Once you've laid a couple of traps while waiting, go east to the water. And there should find another brown, red looking, rough looking bush. Pick your second herb. And next, let's return to the box traps and let's check two shaking boxes to get two gerboa tails. Use one of them on one of the leaves to make a poltice. Next, let's go back to Fox, who's located just a bit west. South of the mining signs, south of the crevice, let's talk to Fox to give him the makeshift poltress. And next, we have just one small favor to do. And therefore, we will need to go south of the city walls of Fultris. 
and simply run straight northeast. Running straight northeast to Astra or teleporting to Fortis and running south takes both exactly 35 seconds. So I think I'm just gonna run. So, northeast of the onion field, north of the church, just south of the cooking range sign, enter that building and there you should find Atsa. Let's talk to her and keep pressing space. Next, we will need to fix the pile of equipment in the middle of the room. Set it up and keep pressing space while she tries to have a conversation with you. Once the equipment is fixed, we will need to make our way back to Fox. The fastest way to get there, I think, would either run 35 seconds back southwest or use a fairy ring. I'm gonna quickly grab some run energy. I don't have a stamina potion with me. When you're back at the crevice and the mining sign back at Fox. Let's talk to Fox and get a report. After we've received that, let's make our way back to the Hunter's Guild. Either run like 20 seconds northwest to the Hunter's Guild or teleport to the city of Fortis and take the Quetzal to the Hunter's Guild. From there, let's get back into the Hunter's Guild rumors area. And let's go back to the cat bed. Use our trimmed fur on the cat bed. Next, let's go to the scribe Verity to give the report. And after the conversation with the scribe, let's go back upstairs. Let's go back to the guild master to complete our quest. And congratulations, you have completed at first light quest. You are awarded with one quest point, 4500 hundred experience, 800 construction experience, 500 hundred experience, and access to the Master Hunters rumors. To be honest, rumors feels like the fantasy isekai adventure guild monster tasks. Anyway, that was my guide how to complete at first light. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate, and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.